I lost my heart a long time ago to a gentleman who I married. And he ended up one night, who um, we're going to bed, it's late at night. He goes, you know, I think I might have had a stroke today. And he rolls over to go to sleep. And it's like, I'm wide awake. It's like, no, you can't. We, we've got to go to the hospital. We, we, you just can't roll over and, and be in bed. We have to check this out. And, and he didn't. He says, no, no, I'm fine. He was in denial. And um, just this last summer, he ended up almost dying because of blood clots that were migrating from his leg to his lungs. And they said if it had gone to his heart, he would have been dead. And when you have somebody that you love, that you've lost your heart to, it's a terrifying experience and it affects you. And it affected our children who were there also. And we had kids coming from different states um, driving in because they were so worried about their father and about the thought of losing their father. You cannot be in denial when you experience some sort of problem with your heart because you have to have your heart to live. And no matter the age, um, I'm a teacher. I had a student, when he was in sixth grade, his father died two days before Christmas. And that certainly impacts the entire family. And so you can't, you can't be in denial. If you, even if you don't care about yourself, care about the ones who love you and do something about that. Don't be in denial. Seek the help that you need so that they don't have to go through all the worry and they don't have to go through the potential loss. We have always been members of the Y, the whole family, and we exercise regularly, but it's been more important to look at diet now. And it was interesting because I got something that was a treat um, this last week, and my husband said, let's not do that anymore. And I thought, you know, he's right, he's right. Because we have made changes to our diet. Um, we're taking a look at the oils that we cook with and just little changes instead of you know frying things you know you bake things and so by changing our diet and by eating more heart healthy and looking at foods that are supportive of a healthy heart that's been a huge change in our lives and it's been an impact in our children's lives as well because they're aware of what dad should and shouldn't have and and me also and so we're losing weight which is a, which is a benefit as well makes it easier on the heart if you don't have to carry the extra pounds around and so by, by changing the eating habits and by continuing to exercise and finding different ways to exercise also because when there's a lot of snow on the ground you may not be able to make it to the Y but there's something you can do around the house and make those changes and they might seem minor but they add up and they can add, they can add years to your life and reduce stress too for your family. I know with my husband, his parents, he's outlived both of his parents and his parents both had heart issues. And I know the year that he hit the age that his dad did, and his dad survived his mother by quite a few years, he had a very difficult year, but he has a different lifestyle that he has chosen to live and that has enabled him to live longer. And the same thing for women, we, we've got to not be in denial. We have to talk about this, we have to educate our friends, and I'm a teacher, and. I feel I have an obligation to teach my students as well, not just the subject I'm supposed to teach them, but if I can teach them to be healthier, and if there's things that I can do, in fact, I got some equipment to use, I teach physics, and for fluid pressure, I got exercise machines that we can go ahead and use in the classroom. And if the kids want to come in during their lunch time to do this, that's, that's not during um, an actual lab that we're doing, they can do this, and they can maybe see the benefits of having some of this exercise and doing some of these things.